Time has run out. Well, Danny McGrain, very experienced, leads out Celtic onto a hand and fits that's been swept, unfortunately, by an almost gale force win. And if it's going to be tricky for the players, it's playing havoc with the Busbys of the Pipers. Well, the Pipe Band have got in the way of the St Mirren side coming out, and uh, that may not be the only obstacle St Mirren faced today, but it's one that they've managed uh, to hurdle successfully. Well, there is the St Mirren side. Exactly the same 11 players as ran in five goals against Dundee last week. A very good uh, result. St Mirren's first away win of the season uh, last Saturday, by the way. And at number 10, John McGregor, who knows Hamden Park, better than anybody else because he played here for Queen's Park, signed by Liverpool, playing in the reserves. He's been loaned to St Mirren. He goes back to Anfield in June and he hopes in his pocket will be a Scottish Cup medal. That is Celtic minus the very significant name of Roy Aiken, who with his drive and the enthusiasm means so much to the Celtic team. It's like a, a car without a bumper in a sense, but Celtic have got to get over this huddle and uh, the man who might help them more than anybody else is Brian McClare. He's a top scorer in the Scottish Cup at the moment with five goals, and in all, he scored 22 this season. Well, the referee comes from not very far away from here, Alan Ferguson of Gifnock. Off we go on a pitch that I think will react very finely today. It's going to be very difficult for the players to uh, come to grips with the, the very uh, hot pitch at the moment and a very strong win. This is the third year in a row that St Mirren have reached the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. They've ended up with disappointments all the time, looking for something better. And that's too far. I think an arm was used there as a free kick. David Proven. Burns. Good run by Proven. It's a corner kick. Burns will try and curl that in. He does very well. And Mordor McLeod ought to have busted it with that. And some questions will have to be asked, and that's a bit of defence. I mean, totally lacking in cover, and he just got underneath it, and up it went into space. Very well taken corner kick, and there he was, scooping it over, almost like a bunker shot. Neatly touched the back of Benny. And they're proving very troublesome. With uh, McDougall linking extremely well with McAvenny. They're quick, particularly McAvenny himself. Trying to get behind this Celtic defence and the threat to do it once or twice. Reed and it's a free kick to Celtic, very awkward tackle. Round to Melrose. Here's Tommy Burns. Nice neat chip forward. Melrose has a chance. It must be. It's in. 1 0 for Celtic. No, it's not. I think, like Melrose, I was totally unaware that the linesman had given offside. Much to the consternation of the Celtic captain, Danny McGrain. Spot forward there, catching out Sidmaran. 
Well, there we are. That's it for Claire offside. Eddie. Tackled well, though, by McLeod, Danny McGrain. Now back. Oof. That's McGregor who was brought down. Taken there by Fulton. Oh, that wasn't a bad header. Yes. Watch the, the neat little jump here by McCormack. There it is, nicely timed. Angled the wrong way, though. Good effort. Scanlon, very good turn. Back of any. Go offside. Oh, a wild, wild shot there by Frank McDougall. Played it to the outside. He had uh, Stevie Clark coming up. Now, watch Clark at the bottom of the picture. There he is making the run. Very ambitious effort. Merrows, Proven, playing for the 1-2. He gets it. The touch there by Thompson. Reed going for the corner, I think. He wants it, and oh, he's unfortunate. <laughs> if it had rolled over, it was going to be a corner kick. Little did he think it was going to come off his heel. Good play, this. Proven driving it in. Now, look for the touch by Billy Thompson. There he goes now. So that would have been a corner kick, but for that uh, unfortunate accident for Reed. Rose. Inviting looking ball, Paul McStay tries to get behind it, and McGregor concedes the corner kick. Dabs it into McGrain, that's not a bad ball again. Way by Clark, Provence there. To McStay, who wants to attack. Swinging it round, this must be a chance, it is! That counts this time, Brian McClare, one nothing. His sixth goal in the Scottish Cup. 29 minutes gone. And St Mirren have always looked extremely vulnerable with that kind of ball played right across them. And when they advanced, there was McClare riding in. And that goal was taken with great confidence. Touch round to Saeed. McAvenny. Brilliantly done. Yes, McAvenny with a great chance. What a game he's having. The skills of McAvenny setting it up for himself. Good anticipation, an awkward ball to take, and one of the nearest chances that it have had. Fitzpatrick, well, that disappeared in midfield, he's been subdued. McAvenny, the good jumping again. He has a great chance, he scored the equaliser by Frank McDougall. 38 minutes gone, and the man who made it for him yet again, McAvenny. But it did require very cool finishing. Watch the little touch, and Frank gets up. McDougal turns extremely well, and slots it home. Well, you just got the impression that these two danger men would put St. Bernard back into the game. They've done exactly that. Shot, free kick. 
And I think the referee might well have a word with part of a client of it that he does. Gentle reminder about the laws of the game. That's a free kick and brilliantly taken. Really wonderful save that, you know, because the goalkeeper, as you can see from that defensive wall, was quite obviously blinded, and when it was swept away up to the corner, it was that last fraction of a second which uh, kept that goal intact. McDougall plays it down to Bashafeni, and he did the right thing. He didn't want to play it inside, he had to go for goal, and both... McAvenny and McDougall looking very threatening. One or the other sets it up all the time. Good understanding. Well, there goes the halftime whistle. Very interesting, absorbing game. One each about right. Obviously, three things we want to look at now. First of all, that uh, goal that was chopped off, scored by Melrose. Now, the thing was that...